hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and y'all i know it's been some months here but i'm here with an updated hair regimen products i'm gonna use up in the next couple months type of video this is one of the most popular videos on my channel and y'all i've been slacking so i'm here to catch up and give y'all game put y'all game to what i plan on using in the next couple weeks months all of that so first things first hey my name is mink i make natural hair beauty lifestyle vlogs all types of random content so if you are interested in joining our kinky crew fam learning a little bit more about me definitely go ahead hit the subscribe button and join our kinky crew fam comment it down below so i can personally welcome you to our family and y'all forgive me for looking crusty tomorrow's wash day and i just needed something quick for work so i put this little headband on and put my hair in a little bun but don't worry tomorrow's wash day all right y'all so at this point i need to just make this a playlist because i do these videos i want to say quarterly every year so i have i think this may be my fourth or fifth one of these videos because i try to keep you guys updated on what i'm using um so if you don't catch up on every video you'll know you know just what i'm doing so i do four different wash days throughout the month so i try to stick to a regimen and i just use those products until they're gone and then i'll hop into a next um product basically so it helps me get through my stash a lot and i feel like i'll be able to learn the product better when i use them semi-consistently so for the first week the first week i go ahead and i like to strip my hair i like to strip hair feeling now i know everybody doesn't bangs doesn't rocks okay doesn't get down with silicones but for me i do so i have two shampoos that i have been going in with for quite a while now actually and y'all know it takes forever to you know get through a shampoo so um the first shampoo that i have that has been here forever is the garnier fruity sleek and shine it is upside down because as y'all can see <laughs> i'm getting to the bottom so that is about where i'm at so i do um think i'll be finishing this next year at some point <laughs> but you know this is the gift that keeps giving you have to use literally none I really really like this shampoo um, even though it's clarifying it's not like it doesn't leave my hair like strip strips so if you are scared of sulfates but you need something to cleanse your hair a bit more um, and you're you want to try a sulfate shampoo this is one I highly recommend I really like it all right y'all so next the second sulfate shampoo that I also use so I just kind of choose by week what type of sulfate shampoo I need so like I said the sleek and shine is a lit like it's clarifying but it's it's more gentle and then the second one that I uh, the second choice I guess is the Melba's light beer and ale honey um lather poo bar and this is from Melba's kitchen collection edition 2 so this is what it looks like it comes in this box and I leave it in the box um and then y'all I put it in a little plastic baggie because I don't know what else to put this in but y'all look at this like I've I don't know how good you guys can see this but I leave it in here and I don't know if y'all can tell how thin the bar is now but I really like this y'all like really like it I don't know if I like it to the point where I would repurchase it because it does leave a bit of a waxy feeling I do have another shampoo bar from honey's handmade up there um but that one doesn't have soul face I don't think so um I do like this one and I, I don't know if I would repurchase it per se I'm not repurchasing any shampoos um in the next 10 years because I have 50 11 so um she's cool for now I, I like her right now okay and then y'all I personally stand by a rinse out conditioner so y'all know no matter how much I pre-poo my hair it, it gets tangled I don't know if it's just me or what but I need a rinse out conditioner so I use my rinse out conditioners literally in the shower to detangle even even if I use a pre-poo I use a conditioner because my hair it needs the extra help for moisture and I, I always need to detangle every time so I have quite a few conditioners here because I use these conditioners throughout the month like if I run out of a matching, if I have, you know, a matching shampoo and conditioner scent, I'll use whatever conditioner I'm using at the top of the month throughout the month. So just to keep it consistent, I'll be able to learn a product and it helps me fly through a product because y'all know how we are with a good old conditioner. So the next conditioner that I plan to use is the Biotin Boost Real and Raw Smoothie and it's for thick and full hair. So this is what the product looks like. Isn't this the cutest little packaging ever? Um, I think it's super, super cute. You guys know that I have been having some issues with shedding. I have a little like ball pot patch over here. I don't know what that's all about, but um, I wanna go with this thickening conditioner, thick and full conditioner. Um, 
I feel like I can never have too thick hair. Um, my hair personally, um, I'm right in the middle. Like my hair's not thin, but my hair's not, you know, super thick either. So I, I'm all I'm all down to try a thickening conditioner. And this has all types of good ingredients like biotin, there's yogurt, coconut oil, all the all the things that my hair really likes. There are silicones in here as well, but y'all, this conditioner is mad thick. Like I wish y'all could see the bottle because like I don't know how I'm gonna get it out this bottle. And it smells so good. I do believe it has silicones, but I'm not pressed about it. I'm going to go ahead and with this and hopefully I see some results and my hair gets thicker and fuller. So, of course, I have a couple other options of conditioners because y'all know me. I fly through a good old conditioner. So, I do have four other conditioners here that I'm just going to allow myself to pick and choose from. So, the first one I have is the Main Choice Cheers Conditioner. I just picked this one because it's in my stash and I actually have two of these. Um, and all the naturals rant and rave about this conditioner. So... And it's a clean product, so I would love to give this a good old try, okay? Um, the girls and guys love this, so I feel like I need to get on the wave. And next, y'all, I have the Carol's Daughter, um, what is it, Jelly to Cream Conditioner. My friend Gabby gave me this. Gabby gives me all types of stuff. Go check out my haul from her. She gives me all types of goodies, and this happens to be one of them. This is supposed to be a um, detangler conditioner type of situation. It goes from this little jelly consistency to a cream, and baby, I'm pressed, okay? I'm very pressed. Do you hear me? Pressed because you get this is 20 ounces and Gabby used just about nothing so I feel like this would be perfect in the shower I like that it's in a jar I could just go ahead scoop me out a little piece and get to it get to work and everything so I'm super pressed to try this um, I'm not a rose scent type of person but she gifted it to me so baby I'm gonna use it okay all right, y'all, so another conditioner that I have is the Texture ID Coils Detangling Conditioner, and this one is 12 ounces. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little washed out because of the lighting, but um, I don't know, y'all. I love that it says Detangling Conditioner. I love that it says that it is for coilies, okay? Okay, y'all know it. Well, if you're new around here, I have a lot of different textures on my hair, on my head. So I love that this is specifically for coily textures because I feel like it'll cater to all of my hair and not just, you know, bits and pieces. So, and this bottle is just too cute. I just, I don't know. I haven't really experimented with Texture ID too much. Um, so I would love to give this a good old try. And then lastly, honey, I have some good old Suave. And this is the Aloe and Water Lily. And um, don't ask me why I picked this up because, baby, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but this is 30 ounces, okay? Did you hear? You heard me correctly. 30 ounces. So I wanted to go ahead and pull this out my stash just because it's just a huge product and it's taking up a lot of space in the closet. Um, because that's where I'm keeping these products at right now. Um, this isn't a product that I keep on the show. And being that is 30 ounces, it would last forever. Do you hear me? It's not the cleanest product, but it's it's gonna do the job, and I'm not gonna need a lot to do it. And I feel like this will be like a multifaceted type of product. So I'll be able to use this as a conditioner and like a pre-poo situation if need be. Okay, y'all. So going into deep conditioners for week one, since I just clarified my hair, I want to make sure that I go in with something that is really going to moisturize my hair. So what I used right now is the Herbal Essence Coconut Milk um, and Aloe Hair Mask. This was actually pretty good. Um, now that I'm looking at the jar, I'm not sure that I'll be able to get a full use out of this one. But it did work out really well for my hair. So if you want to try something on a budget, highly recommend. But of course, y'all know me. I have plenty of other masks. So there are quite a few that I do want to try. And the first one that I want to start out with is the Sultanicals Hibiscus Healer. Y'all love this mask, okay? Y'all love this so much that I fell into the peer pressure and bought it, okay? And it's been in my stash for about a year. And I keep wanting to use it in the winter because y'all just keep saying how hydrating, how moisturizing, how it is like, I don't, like, it. It's wizardry in a jar. So I want to go ahead and try this because my hair could use some miracles right now. All right, y'all. So another mask that I would like to go in with. Y'all have seen this mask in so many different videos. This is the Camille Rose Holiday Collection Cocoa Deep Conditioner. Now, there's no reason why I have a six ounce deep, ounce, six ounce deep conditioner just chilling in my stash. It should be gone. It's a small product. Even though it does say that it is concentrated, 
Ain't no reason I still have this product, okay? And last but not least, I have another Honey's Handmade product. Y'all know I have a ton of Honey's Handmade products. So that's why y'all keep seeing it all over this use up my stash mission type of situation. This is the Chebe and Almond Milk Kokum Growth Enriched Hair Mask. Um, all things Moelle really, really liked this mask when it first came out. And that's what inspired me to buy it as well as the Alfalfa one that they released. Ciao. Honey Tamay does so many releases. I don't know when this one came out. But she really liked this mask. So I went ahead and bought it. And I'm excited to try it on myself. I think it'll be best to try it during the freezing cold weather. Alright y'all. So moving on to week two. Since I clarified my hair the week prior. This week I like to go in with something a little bit more gentle. Which I co-wash. But I do a little razzle dazzle as well. So first um what i'm doing right now is i'm going in with this curl of a song salted caramel brown sugar scalp scrub and y'all i actually really like this product so she's almost gone like really really almost gone so y'all can see all the oils floating around in there but i don't i don't anticipate that i'll you know be using this too much longer so i really did like it I don't know that I would repurchase. I'll leave it at that. And right now, the co-wash that I'm going in with is, is the Eden Body Works Lavender and Aloe Moisturizing Co-wash from their new line. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this co-wash. I do have a review on it. So if you're interested, I'll link it up above. So y'all, I'm going to do a little something different because I don't want to use another scalp scrub this time. When I finish this one, I actually want to go in with the Cream of Nature Apple Cider Vinegar Clarifying Rinse. So y'all, I actually really didn't know what to do with this product, but I feel like it fits perfectly with a co-wash week because it's a little little cleansing I guess and then I'll go in with a secondary cleanser like my co-wash so I think this will be a good way to use up the product I've never really used the apple cider vinegar rinse before but now now would be the perfect time to try and I do actually have a couple co-washes that I want to use up because y'all I'm just not really like that pressed about co-washes anymore so I just want to go ahead and use up the ones that I have I probably won't be purchasing any um right now like the last one I got was the Eden Body Works one and I won that in a giveaway like I didn't even purchase that so it's time to go ahead and use up some of these co-washes and only keep my staples so the first one that I have is actually both of the ones that I have here are from Honey's Handmade and this one right here is the Honey Cleansing and Clarifying Co-wash so there's this one, 8 ounces, and then there's the Honey's Handmade um, Cherry Almond Tapioca Co-Wash Cleansing Conditioning Cream. I'm sure these are both good. The own, the condition, the Co-Wash, my favorite Co-Wash before the Eden Body Works was the Sweet Potato one from Honey's Handmade. Baby, it's delicious. Use that up. Um, I do have these two now, so I would like to give these a try. But like I said, I'm just not really pressed about Co-Washes right now. All right, y'all. So last but not least for week two, I like to go in, since it's such a moisturizing wash day, I like to go in with a little razzle dazzle and a little bit of protein. So I do like a moisture protein type of mask. So the one that I'm using right now is the Honey's Handmade Blueberry Yogurt Deep Conditioning Mask. I did do a review on this. I actually really, really like this. Really, really like this. Okay, did you hear me? Um, so it's actually a really good product. Damn, I forgot to do my mask for week one. It's a really good product. I highly recommend. But I also have three others that I would like to use up. So the first one that I have here is the Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment from Curls Dynasty. I have tried this product, but I need to revisit this one. I won't tell you guys my thoughts, but there's still a good bit left in here. Um, and since it's only an 8 ounce product, I usually only get like two uses out of an 8 ounce jar. So I might as well go ahead and use this up. Next is yet another 8 ounce conditioner. This is the Camille Rose um, Algae Renew. And y'all, I used to be obsessed with this. Okay, obsessed with this when I first went natural. And I've had this one in my stash for a good bit now. And it's just time to use it up. I really do like this one. And I'm excited to revisit this and see if I still love it. And then last but not least is one of y'all good Judy's. And it is the Mish Strengthen Deep Conditioner. So I have never tried anything from Mish. And I have the Strengthen. I have the Indulge. As well as I bought one for Black Friday. Um, I'm just really excited to try Mish. And I have, um, this will be my, well, I just ordered a third product so and I've had this since last Black Friday so I just want to go ahead and give this a good old use because I've heard nothing but good things y'all. Alright Kinky Crew so next since I just co-washed the next week I want to go in with something semi more cleansing again because I just want to make sure that my scalp is clean okay. What I have been going in with is the Carol's Daughter Rasool Clay Shampoo and Conditioner Set. Y'all do you 
I love these. Okay, I wish Carol's daughter didn't discontinue these. This is the only one I have right now because y'all know it takes forever to use up a good old shampoo. And y'all, when I tell you I've used this like four times and I'm only like right here. These are some good products. The conditioner, um, I'm about here on the conditioner. So I only have maybe two more uses and this will be gone. Um, And then again, I'll go back to week one and use those conditioners that I you know I'm setting out but this is a really good duo I really wish Carol's daughter would consider bringing these back because I really actually like these okay y'all so I have quite a few masks here for week three mm -hmm. so the one that I'm using right now of course is the matching Carol's daughter mask again I have a review on this really really like this however I have to use up stuff y'all so I have two other eight ounce conditioners as well as a 12 ounce so the next one that I have here is the green collection from Curls. This is the sea kelp and cucumber hair mask. I had a subscriber ask me to give this a shot and I am more than happy to. If you guys see something on the shelf that y'all want me to go ahead and try, comment it down below so I can go ahead and do that. I'm always trying to try new stuff and y'all like to hear my opinions on it. So definitely let me know. So she asked me to go ahead and try this and I am excited because I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not that pressed about Curls. Like they just don't you know get me excited like curls just doesn't appeal to me all like that so i don't know i'm excited to give it a try now that i have some fire under my butt to give it a good old whirl so we'll see what curls is talking about because they got some big shoes to fill and next y'all so the next moisturizing one i have is from canvas beauty and i saw these in my target recently so this is the full bloom infinitely deep conditioner now this is a little pricing okay i bought this um they were having a summer sale like two years ago um and i still haven't tried it y'all but my thing is with this this has silicones and y'all know i'm usually not pressed about silicones but like when it's a more expensive conditioner i just feel like it shouldn't have silicones what am i paying for silicones for so i'll give this a try maybe i'll be obsessed with it and it'll you know have me not caring about a price and last but not least, y'all, for week three, I have this Maui Moisture Detoxifying Volcanic Ash Scalp Care Mask. And it's for dull and congested hair. And it says it's supposed to purify and illuminate. I don't know what none of that means. Do you hear me? Like, what does it mean to illuminate a head of hair? The girls don't know. The guys don't know. The theys and thems do not know okay so i don't know i figured i'd go ahead and give it a try i gotta use it at some point so why not why not use it now all right y'all so we have finally hear me again finally uh-huh come to the final week of um my, my hair regimen so the last week i go in with a moisturizing shampoo and the moisturizing shampoo that i have been using for what seems like ever is this casey by care care moisturizing shampoo y'all i'm about halfway through <laughs> i'm about halfway through i probably won't be done with this till 2023 yeah uh-huh um this shampoo such a little goes such a long way and it's a really good moisturizing shampoo i can't say that i would repurchase it because i have a ton of rinse, moisturizer shampoos i have a ton of shampoos in general but i can't say that i would repurchase this one because i just had I, like i said i'm not buying shampoos for like the next 10 15 years okay <laughs> um, but I do really like it so this is the one I have been going in with for god knows how long and then again I'm going in with a rinse out conditioner from the same ones that from week one because I finished that conditioner long long ago mm -hmm. then y'all I'm going in with the blueberry bliss reparative hair mask so y'all, I'm going in with this because I just heard that it's a more heavy protein treatment. So I just wanted to be cautious and make sure that I use this with moisturizing products. So I'm excited to give this a try because again, curls just really doesn't call catch my eye. And then y'all, I have another cult favorite. This is the Botanica The Mender. And y'all, I got this on clearance at Marshall's for $6. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. But I got it on clearance for $6. So I just had to pick it up i had to pick it up so i'm really excited to go ahead and try this because y'all uh, the hype around this is real and i want to know if it's true or not because y'all know i'm going to deliver whether it's true or not what's tea to me uh? <laughs> so yeah y'all then i go right back to week one and that is literally the way i do my monthly hair regimen so those are some products that i'm looking to be using up of course there's going to be different reviews and tutorials and X, Y, and Z other than these products. But these are products that I definitely want to focus on this year. And, you know, 
see what 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 I can do okay in the next couple months see what I can do what I can finish y'all know I am on a goal to finish a ton of products I got some big girl things happening and I just want to make sure that I just need to get rid of some of these products y'all because me owning my own hair store is just it's getting out of hand okay so definitely let me know what products you plan to use up within the next couple months and any products that you're using and loving because I probably have them so yeah you guys I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one bye